Hi everyone and welcome back. So if you're wondering why I'm in the same outfit and makeup and stuff, it's because I'm pre-filming a bunch of videos for you guys. So yeah. But for today's video, I'm going to be talking you through some of my best liquid lipsticks I've ever tried. Now I've tried a lot of liquid lipsticks and honestly I can tell you some of them are like terrible, like they dry out your lips. They just make them crack they make like they bleed down like to your chin like they just don't look good so i'm here to tell you the best liquid lipsticks to try and if you would like a part two of the worst liquid lipsticks i've tried then make sure you comment down below and let me know and without further ado let's get on with the video so starting with cat Von D. i got this last year when i went to spain when i went to sephora now this was before cat Von D came to the uk so obviously like everyone i've heard of cat Von because I'm pretty sure everyone had and I really wanted to get Requiem and Bow and Arrow they didn't have either of those shades so basically I went to two I went for two different ones I went to four these two which obviously are both very pink they they look similar in the bottle but I can assure you they're not um, I got these shades Lovesick and Melancholia now Melancholia is like a Barbie pink it's very pale quite similar to Requiem although definitely a lot pinker more than purple and this is a great one to wear in the center of your lips when you've got a dark shade on definitely like if you was wearing Posey K from Kylie Cosmetics this would look great in the middle but if you've owned but if you've got this shade as well it looks great in between lovesick i actually wore this when i went to the zoella apartment when i went to london and this stayed on all day this formula is so so good it's so lightweight it stays on so long wearing they don't bleed they don't like they dry instantly so it doesn't like get onto your teeth or anything it's so good now i'm going to show you the shades so this i've done this so big and i've got so many more to swatch this is the shade melancholia so as you yeah so this is shade Melacoda as you can see it's insanely pigmented that was only like one swipe like across like it's obviously a big space but that was one swipe they're so pigmented and the next one is Melacolia this is actually my favorite out of the two just because I love the way like the color is and um, I just think the color is so original so I'm actually put it on now actually So as you can see, they're so easy to apply. And where the actual applicator is so long, I feel like it works really well as well to like to get into the inner corners and get a lot more precision. So I'm pretty sure that's been about 10 seconds and it's already setting, which is amazing because when you're on the run and you just want to top up quick, it means it's gonna set and it's not gonna like go out of place if you haven't seen your lips. So I just think that's so good. These are, I'm pretty sure, I think they're like 19 pounds from Debenhams, I think. Which I think, considering, which I think considering like, I use Kylie Cosmetics as an example because I feel like they're one of the most known liquid lipsticks. They're so expensive and you can get custom charged if you live in the UK, so these are so much better. So this is Lovesick and I love, literally love this colour so much. It's my favourite liquid lipstick out of all the formulas and all the colours I own. This is definitely my favourite and I just love it so much. So if you're looking for that one liquid lipstick that you think you have to try, definitely try out Kat Von D and it is available at Devon's now if you live in the UK. So my next favourite liquid lipstick is the Laura Geller 50 Kisses Lip Locking Liquid Colour. So I was lucky enough to be sent a set, I think it was near Christmas, from Laura Geller and this was actually in it and I thought it was a lip gloss. Now I tried it out the other day and it was like, it was dry matte. It's like, oh my God, it's a liquid lipstick. And I went on their Instagram and saw that they brought out like loads of shades. Now this is in the shade Royal Kiss. The color is so beautiful and I've never felt like such a more creamy formula. It's, um, it's quite a thick formula, but it's thick, but you like, it feels thick when you put it on. But it dries like really like, but it dries really opaque and you can't feel it on your lips. So this is the shade right here. So it's quite a unique shade. I don't really know what it's quite similar to, but it's quite like, it's a dark colour, but it's quite, it's like a dark reddish pink and I really like it. It does take a little bit longer to dry than some other ones I've tried, but the shade is really, really nice. Like if I was going to try a shade, I would like, if you're quite like, if you like, if you like dark colours, 
if you like a dark color but a light color as well then i would definitely try this because it is beautiful and even though we're going into like the summer season i feel like it still look really nice so i would definitely try out the laura geller ones if you haven't already and i do know they do sell laura geller on debenhams as well and you could also try out their website so i love this formula and i would definitely try it out so i always see rachel leary use the sleek liquid lipsticks and i know they look they just look so good i really wanted to try them so i picked up a few shades at christmas i managed to get the christmas set in boots which was like literally i think it was like four pound you got four like medium sized ones i think they're like medium like they're not huge but they're not small either like i thought they i think they'll last long so this is the shade shabby chic it looks like this it's definitely an everyday shade so if i apply it here i think it looks very similar to candy k so as you can see again they dry really quickly matte and i just love the shades so much i've got another one which is here and this is in this is a bit darker and this is in the shade of velvet slipper i love the name and this one just this one's a lot darker than actually i don't know it looks like this in the bottle and it comes out a lot redder than it looks but i really like it very it's very similar to diva from mac and these formulas are so good again really opaque they're not heavy one thing i love in a liquid lipstick is that it don't sit heavy on your lips because i don't like to feel it like i've got this one on now and it doesn't feel like i'm wearing a liquid lipstick or like a lipstick at all so i love that again these are just amazing and as a drugstore i'm pretty sure these might be like six pound so if you're looking for a liquid lipstick on a budget maybe try those out because they are amazing and the last one i'm here to talk about is colourpop colourpop is obviously extremely hard to get hold of in the uk you can get custom feed and stuff but if you try and get it i got it on free shipping and i got a few bits and i got this one in the shade dopey this is beautiful it just looks like i'm gonna have to put this on this end and it just looks like that these dry so quick these are i'm pretty sure like they work out like maybe like five pound which is so cheap for a liquid lipstick i love the packaging i think it's very different to any other liquid lipstick what i love about all these packets is that they are all very different like the cat 1d one it's very slim it's tall it's one of the first liquid lipsticks i ever tried and it's definitely one of the best um and then again like this one it's not the same i feel like kylie cosmetics like on the birthday ones have definitely tried to do it similar to this but these are just amazing and i'd definitely try these out if you haven't already so that was the finished video i really hope you liked it as i said before if you want to see my worst liquid lipsticks video then make sure you comment below because i'd love to know what you guys want to see and i feel like you might want to know which ones are the worst so make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe and i'll see you all for soon for our next video and i'll see you all soon for a new video thank you so much for watching bye